and welcome to John Foster RC again. And today we are going to unveil my next build. Uh, this is courtesy of the fabulous RC Elf. You know who you are. Thank you very much indeed. Again, this is a lovely, great model. Always one that I wanted to have. Um, so, what is it? What's underneath the cover? Well, the RC Elf, he has kindly bought me this yes folks this is the last of the build from the rc elf's donations here uh yeah the fabulous xv01 lancia delta integrale oh, wow what a wonderful kit what a wonderful gift this has been an icon of the 80s the delta integrale was one of the Italian legends of the rally world and doesn't it look stunning? It's a beautiful model. Now this one automatically comes with ball bearings and uh, so it's fully ball raced and oil shocks as well with the motor sitting over the front of the uh, car here. Um, so uh, yeah, I get to put one of these together. Different Tamiya, a little bit step up from their normal chassis bit more in depth to build, a uh, bit more of a challenge to get into the kit. So I'm looking forward to it, guys. This is what I've wanted to have. What a great kit. So here's some of the features of the car. Motor being over the front here. Uh, this is a 540 motor, but I've got something else in mind for this. Um, you've got your CVA dampers. Um, they're already here. So you have those ready to go so you can build those up. Uh, you've got the ball bearings, which is in the car. You've got the gear diff as well. Uh, everything's sort of nicely covered to keep out the, the dirt and dust and, and such like. Um, you've got a battery hatch at the bottom of the car um, so that you don't have to take the car uh, body off to get to the battery which is quite good um, and yeah it's it's ready to assemble you do need to get uh, an electronic speed controller um, servo and radio gear and battery and everything but uh, wow what a great one I love it on the other side of this lovely box again talks about some of the options you can have the titanium screws aluminium uh, motor mounts and uh, aluminium suspension parts and such like uh, the slipper clutch system uh, high torque servo savers and, uh, and, and various other um, Tamiya, Team Tamiya uh, upgrades for the suspension system and such like so lots to do a um, little bit over here just to take a note ESC is needed uh, just so you know there and again here you can see Tamiya are very very good with their box art officially licensed Lancia uh, and there they capture your imagination with the rally car specifications and the rally car looks doesn't it look stunning um, not sure if I'm going to go with white I might try something different um, I'd like to uh, I think I'd like to do something else with this color maybe do one base color but something that will help these great decals to to pop out we'll have a look at that let's have a look inside the box and there you are, ladies and gentlemen, opening the box. There'll be wheels and tyres. You've got all your component parts here. Plastic parts. Bags for plastic parts. Well, the main bag for all your bits. In the typical Tamiya fashion, you get everything you need, including all the bearings. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll bring this out so you can see the lovely body there. You just see underneath the body, you can see the belt drive system there, luckily. So yeah, let me just bring out and show you what you get. And there you have it guys, all laid out onto the table. Uh, that fabulous body with your component bag over here. So you get everything you need in here, your, five, your 540 motor, for example, uh, all the screw bags and everything are all inside in here, springs for your suspension system, bumper, and everything is all inside there. Yeah, and everything you need in that bag. The plethora of plastic parts, belts, wheels, tyres, foams that go inside the tyres, the main chassis. Again, sort of various components for your gearboxes, bodywork parts, all the other plasticky parts that you need for building up suspension and uh, such like. Of course, manual, separate manual for your bodywork. There you go, look, see, gonna get that nice body sorted out. And then 
the wonderful decals that Tamiya, Tamiya do. Look, yeah, look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, yeah. Window stickers as well. The main stickers there on there. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be changing the motor that's inside this one. It's a 540 motor. I'm going to change that out for something different. Let's show you what I've got in mind. So, guys, I'm going to be speeding this up. First edition, um, I'm going to be putting in one of these. This is the FlySky FSBS4. This has got a, a gyro system in there. Um, seeing that I'm going to be making this a little bit quicker, uh, I want to be able to control it. I'm getting old, guys. <laughs> My reflexes weren't as fast as they used to be. Um, so, yeah, going to get a little bit of help that I can so I don't wreck the model. Uh, servo, going to pop the servo in. Got a nice strong servo there for the front. So we'll pop that in as well. Um, ESC, as you know, you don't get the ESC. Um, so I'm going with a 1080, uh, the Hobby Wing 1080. Uh, it's a very good um, electronic speed controller. Lots of people know about this one. And what am I going to do to make it go faster? <sighs> I got myself a sports tuned. Let's stick that in there, see how it loves it. I'm sure it'll fly along. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice... It's a nice motor, it's a it's a brush motor. Um, yeah, so sports tuning and uh, yeah, so we can have a nice build. Well, hopefully um, you'll enjoy the build with me and I will show you how it's done. Stay tuned, see you all later, see you guys and remember keep yourself safe and well. Bye bye for now.